In America, it's a different story. Pets lucky enough to escape their homes now face one of wildlife's most terrifying scourges. In the time of humans, more than 7,000 animals in America, about 90% of them wild, were annually infected with rabies. The virus strikes the nervous system and inflames the brain, causing an agonizing death. Every year, in population centers along the East Coast and in Texas and Arizona, oral bait vaccines were dropped by aircraft in the hope of suppressing the disease in such feral animals as foxes, skunks, coyotes, and raccoons. Without people to carry out the vaccination programs, an outbreak of the virus spirals by as much as 30% over the next several years. Among the infected are domestic cats and dogs that have ventured out and been bitten by the wild rabid animals. They go through a hyper-aggressive, hyper-active, almost madness, we could call it, a fury, where you get that characteristic frothing of, of the saliva at the mouth. Some dogs that are infected with the rabies virus have been known to actually bite up to another 100 animals. Three centuries after people, the rabies virus is struggling to survive. The disease requires dense animal populations in order to spread. As domestic animals die off and wild animals disperse from the fringes of the human settlements where they once scavenged, the virus could infect little more than several thousand animals per year. The outbreak is over. <laughs> 